Well, we pretty much took care of every side quest we could possibly find, and we can't find any more, so we can't put it off any longer. It's time to get back to the main story. Let's speak with Lord Hien for the level 66 challenge, the last one that has an Aether Current entitled Glory to the Khan. Hien has what can best be described as a shite eating grin. Ah, uh, but it would be rude of me to monopolize your attention. Doubtless, there are others who would speak with you. Let us go and greet Temelun Khartoum. Then we shall. Let's go on inside. Welcome, warriors of the steppe. It is an honor to receive you once more. We observed the battle from a distance and marked the moment of your triumph. In that instant, I wept tears of joy. Not only did you bring us victory in the Nadam, but you ensured that every one of my kinsmen returned with their lives. And as we're discussing this, we welcome a new viewer to our channel. Corey Wilson, welcome to Let's Play Navarra Autism. It's nice to welcome you to the channel. Good to have you with us this evening. Um, I guess it all depends on what your experience was from playing a Romy Born and whether or not you actually beat the main story there, Corey. But yeah, Heaven's Ward um, had a re I was really enjoying that. And then Stormblood has a lot more to do and a lot more places you can go. Some are more gravely wounded than others, but none were lost to us. We could not have now asked for anything more. If it is not too much of an imposition, would you be willing to go and speak with them? A simple gesture for those with whom you shared the battlefield. Yeah, alright. Let's go ahead and speak with our victorious mole tribe. But yeah, so far I've really enjoyed everything that Final Fantasy XIV has let me do, and I've been satisfied with what I've been able to accomplish. But yeah, ho hopefully um, you'll take a look at some of the stuff that I've been doing in Stormblood, plus I also have my um, Arami Born in Heaven's War Let's Plays for you to look at if you need some ideas as to whether or not it's worth it for you to come back. Because, yeah, everyone's going to have a different experience. So let's speak with this diligent mole warrior. Some part of me struggles to believe it, but we won! We defeated the Ornia and the Dothal, and won! When they appeared before us, I was filled with such fear as I had never known. But then I saw you charge with Siren and the others, and before I knew it, I was running and shouting. I will carry the memory of that moment with me always as well as the moment when you became one with the Ovo and were declared Khan. The victory Percy struck was a sight to behold. I say, would you be willing to show us the game? Yeah, I believe I can do that. Guys, I've been wanting to show off the victory pose again for a while. So yeah, Dragoon Batflip! Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Dragoon backflip. <laughs> and even a little modest about it, too. Yeah, a little modest smile. What do you think, boys? Oh, and that's the stuff of legends. That's the Khan in all her splendor! Praise be to the Khan, and to the gods for guarding her to us! Glory to the Khan and her comrades! Forever and ever! A hundred years, the Khan! Well, Lise, what are you doing? Yeah, there's a whole bunch of cheering that you're missing out on. Yeah, you're missing out on all of it. And so, we'll get our 
completion of quest through Sirena. So let us go back inside. Ah, Corin, I am told you gave the young warriors a fine show. Grandmother and I have been discussing how we might expre best express our gratitude to you. Mere words did not seem sufficient. And so? This is a Morn Kur, a traditional instrument of our people. The feats of our great heroes like Bardam and Chaka are preserved in song. Yours too will live on for years to come. Perhaps one day you might learn how to play it. But even if not, you may look on the Morn Kur and remember this time, this place, as we will when we hearken to the music. And thus we receive our very own Morn Kur, the stringed instruments that we got to see played during the afternoon stream, as well as our final Aether Current here on the Azim Step. But now there are even more side quests for us to do. What? Really? You know what? We'll come back to these tomorrow. We'll come back to these side quests tomorrow night. Let's go back over to Lord Hien because, yeah, it's time we started moving forward and taking on the level 66 main story challenge entitled In Crimson They Walked. Lord Hien's eyes are filled with determination. All you would have to do is buy the expansions, Cory. You wouldn't have to rebuy the game. You wouldn't have to rebuy the base game. On on PC, if you bought if you bought it on PC, then all you have to, would have to do is buy the expansions. At the risk of sounding impatient, we have certain pressing obligations. It is time that we saw to them. You are right. To whom much is given, much is expected. Nay, do not think yourselves so indebted to us. Was it not you who gave us your blessing to participate in an alarm? And you who saved my lord Hien from certain death? Doma is in your debt and will ever be a friend to the ball. And we to you, Gosetsu. A thought occurs to me. If you wish to return to Yansha with all haste, the passage south of the Dusk Throne would offer the most direct route. The Dothal sealed it with their magic during the Doman Rebellion when Men and Iron came from afar. If there ever a time to open the pass, it is now. We should journey to Dothal Kar. But before that, might we visit the Dawn Throne? I wish to speak with our most radiant brother. Are you sure that's a good idea? I know he agreed to fight for Doma, but I doubt he'll be very happy to see us so soon after we beat him. Nama made us for war, Lise. Ever since we came to this world, we have fought. In the Nadam, blood was shed and lives were lost. Brown earth was stained crimson and Zayla wept. But crimson is the dusk and the dawn, death and rebirth, an ending to mark a new beginning. We who are born are destined to die. As the seasons turn, we are born again. Thus spoke the first. You see, we harbor no hatreds. The Nadam is the Nadam, and what comes after is what comes after. If you say so, the Dawn Throne first, then? Yes, and I shall accompany you. And so, away there we go. Yeah, they want us to speak with Magni again, so I guess we gotta go back to the Dawn Throne. Um, well, they're country gaming. Um, I don't necessarily know if I would be able to help you out with that. Um, especially since you're a new viewer to the channel. But, yeah, if I can encourage you to be able to enjoy what you're seeing here, and maybe if 
You can earn our trust, maybe we'll send you a recruitment code. Or maybe someone here would be willing to do that if they play the game. Hi, right, Magni. I have come back. The sun is disinclined to entertain you at length. Speak your purpose in coming. Humble as ever. Should I be humble in the presence of inferiors? I am a child of Azim and you are not. Your triumph in the Nadam does not raise you to such heights. You know, like, what are we... Wait a minute, what's with the chairs? Why are we looking at two chairs? Batu will not be joining us. He was wounded in the Nadam. His hurts are grave and he requires rest, but he will walk again in time. Though it is no business of yours, such pity does not become a con. We are allies, traveler. Far f we are not allies, traveler. Far from it. The Nadam will come again, and with it our rule. I say again, why have you come? To sit, bid us surrender the Dawn Throne to the Maul? Not at all. Yeah, I don't think Serena's here for that. Nay, the Maul are beholden to the will of the gods, and they will not have us aside here. The Ornia and the Buguda may remain. We are here for Yonsha, and wish to speak of your part in the coming war. Ah, the Domans and the Iron Men, I remember, are packed. Sound the call, and the Ornia will answer. Full glad am I to hear it. We have preparations to attend to, but will send for you soon. The gods are kind. I'm sure the Oranir will prove a great boon in the days to come. <laughs> yeah, he doesn't seem all that down with the idea. But yeah, what are the ladies whispering to each other? Of the dusk, a maiden gentle and ethereal. A dancer in the morning mist, and a warrior besides. Look into my eyes, child. See you, Azim. Are you my Nama? Well, that was out of nowhere. Yeah, like, what? Her? I know not of what you speak, Brother Magni, but I'm quite certain you are mistaken. We should get going right now! Yeah. We'll be back later, don't worry. Alright. Running out of here. Now to the... Dothal. And so, flying southwest. On a cloudy night. Venturing towards the sworn enemy of the Oranir. So, let's go ahead and arrive. At the intended destination, and we shall see how Sadu is doing. Hello again. Hm, the Khan and her warriors. Greetings, my lady. We come to you on your journey, on our journey southbound for Yonsha, where our comrades await. How fare you and yours in the wake of the Nadam? Many were wounded, some few to the death. Resplendent were their souls in the chaos. It was a good battle, a good day to die. Soon we will greet them again. And mayhap one who went before them also. 
like a seed seed has quickened in his lover. When the child is born, we shall see who waits behind its eyes. Already we must look to the next Nadam. We must grow strong of body and mind, and your war will help us to do so. Say the word, and we will fly to the field. Of that I have no doubt, for you are Dothal. Guilty as charged. There's one more thing we would ask of you. The Majesty you used to seal the passage to the south. Will you unmake them? If that be your wish. When next we come together, it will be on a great battlefield against a common foe. I trust you will fight with the same fervor you demonstrated during the Nadam. <laughs> and you, Ancient One, will be the demon I know you to be. Aught less will be a disappointment. And so, away we go from the Dothal. And so, we go to Sirena next. And this challenge would be completed. So yeah, flying over the deserts to get to this one area that has been blocked off from us for some time. But that is about to change once we speak with Sirena. So were the magic sword already dropped, or do they still need to be? Saru Khatun has done her part. This passage will deliver you to Doma. It is here we must part ways, until the day you call us to battle. It won't be long, I know, but take care of yourself, Sirena. And tell your grandmother and the others again how much we appreciate everything they did for us. I will. Oh, I nearly forgot. I have another gift for you. And what are you bestowing upon us this time? Oh, it's a red, um... Wait, is this a banner of the Mole tribe? It is not the most practical of gifts, but nevertheless, we wish to present it to you. I do not fully understand what has befallen Zoma or your homeland, Lise, but I do understand that you and yours have suffered terribly. The Moor place their faith in the gods, and in turn they shepherd us. They watch over and keep us. We pray they show you the same favor. As it wasn't in Adam, blood will be shed. Your land's engulfed in a storm of fire and steel, yet as it did here, it shall mark a new beginning there. May you ever walk in crimson, for cr in crimson there is life, there is liberation. Thank you for your prayers, Sirena. We shall remember them. Until we meet again. And so our, thus our journey on the Azim step, at least in the main story, is now done. Wave goodbye. I mean, it will not be that much longer until we require the Aura to come to our side, so... Another 216,000 experience point skill, plus our very own mole banner. Which is a housing item that we can go ahead and add to our home. And that unlocks another achievement. So, let's now take on Lord Hien's level 66 challenge entitled, The Hour of Reckoning. The time has come for Lord Hien to return to Doma. Right then, to the House of the Fierce. With me, my friends. 
So we're going back there. All right. Then let's follow them in. Um, no preference. But yeah, how did Instant 2 get so many people? So yeah, we're now... This is basically where we are in relation to the other side of the map. Alright, Gosetsu. I have not used this door before, but oh, I recognize this place. The House of the Fierce should lie somewhere to the south. I will go on ahead and inform the sentries of our master's return. And so off they march. And since I have the ability to fly around here... Yeah, I'd say we could very well take advantage of this. But it also depends on... Or maybe not. Because, yeah, look at all that crystal that's blocking our way. And I guess we're going to have to old school it to get over to where we need to be. But I can still fly over this way. And reveal more of the map. Yeah, there we go. So yeah, at least this part of the map can be revealed. Now we're considered within Doma, and so now we're on the opposite side of the barrier. So yeah, that's awesome. Might as well take advantage of the opportunity to reveal as much of the map as we can. But yeah, I'm coming here and there's nothing you can do to stop it. Which means I'm going to end up flying over the castle. Well, I guess it would help if I turned inward toward it. Yeah, there we go. Alright, perfect. Yeah, that revealed a lot more of the map, but of course we can't pass through this yet. No, that'll have to come later. But yeah, now we have a sneak peek at what's to come. So where is Gosetsu sitting? Right over here. Or rather, it's Hien who's sitting over here. And Hien, or rather at least, I'm trying to have a conversation with Lord Hien here. Here we are. I wonder if they're all gathered inside, waiting. Perhaps expecting a speech or some such. Well, no matter. I shall have to do what I shall have to do. So upon our return... Our long-awaited return. And the Aetherite's working again. Brothers and sisters, pray forgive me my absence. It has been far too long. Lord Hien. Gossetsu told us of your trials and tribulations on the steppe. Would that I'd been present to witness your victory, my lord. Our victory, Yugiri. Owed as much to each of my stalwart comrades as it did to me. Now rise. I will not suffer this excess of formality any longer. <laughs> but why not? Alfino and Alize Levieux, I presume. I'm told we owe you much. It is a pleasure to meet you both. The pleasure is ours, Lord Hien. Though we were born and raised a world apart, our values are one and the same. Freedom, justice, liberty. Each of which Doma shall soon enjoy once more. Hopefully. I understand you have brought an army. Yeah, there we have. And in the same and meanwhile, we welcome a new viewer to our channel channel, Alma. Well, welcome to Let's Play Novara Autism. It's nice to welcome you to the channel. We're glad to have you with us. 
I am playing this on PS4, in case you're wondering. Indeed. The Zayla tribes of the Azim Steppe have pledged their military might to the cause. Good. We, meanwhile, have secured the support of the Confederacy and a not insignificant number of your countrymen. The Blue Kojin, too, have expressed a willingness to join the fight, provided you agree to certain trade agreements following the liberation of Doma. <laughs> of course. The Shinobi will render what aid they can. However, Sui no Sato refused to answer our call. No matter. What forces we have amassed far exceed my original expectations. You have my thanks. You should know that Xenos departed Doma not long after you left to find Lord Heian. We know not the reason why, but it would seem he was eager to return to Gear Abania. I'm sure he was. What? Have you heard anything from the Resistance? There hasn't been another attack, has there? Tataru assures me they are quite well. You need not worry. If anything, this turn of events would seem to be to our advantage. Yeah, because we only have to get through Yotsuyu, but the right? Good news ends. Yotsuyu retains her position as acting viceroy, and we have reports that the garrison at Doma Castle is preparing for a massive operation. Oh, so they're awaiting our arrival. We suspect that the Empire's attempt to eliminate you on the steppe may have been a prelude to a larger effort to purge the remaining pockets of resistance within Doma. The hour of reckoning is upon us. What do you say? The victory will soon be ours. <laughs> the Han has spoken. And I, for one, am not inclined to argue. Indeed. Yeah, we just mentioned there, Agu87, that this is PS4. In this place, in this moment, I call upon you all. 25 years of oppression, of tyranny, of shame. It ends with us. We will prevail. Yeah, it's nice to welcome you there to the stream here, Agu87. It's glad to have you with us. It's nice to have you along. Yeah, we'll go ahead and speak with Alphano next. Once more, welcome back. It is good to see you again, Corinne. Ah yes, there is another recent development we neglected to share with you. Anisei and I have been hard at work attempting to restore the Aetherite here to its former glory, and I am pleased to inform you that we have succeeded. Suffice it to say it should prove a boon for trouble, well, for those who plead with anima like you at least. So yeah, why don't we go ahead and attune to that Aetherite right now. No reason not to. We'll drive past the Subaru. But yeah, it's been a long time coming to attune to this Aetherite. So now we want to make our way back over to the other side to continue on with main story quests. So, next up for Alpha Node is our first level 67 main story quest, entitled, The Room Where It Happened. Alpha Note has devised a cunning strategy to reclaim Doma Castle. I imagine you are eager to hear the particulars of our plan. Allow me a moment to gather everyone's attention. If all are in agreement, I will outline my plan to retake Doma Castle. Feel free to speak your way, peace. and the Doman Irregulars will conduct a series of raids against Imperial targets throughout the surrounding area, with the aim of drawing the garrison's attention. Shortly thereafter, our Zayla allies will launch a surprise attack on the castle's airborne defenses. In this way, we will prevent the enemy's airships from rendering support and cut off one means of escape. Alize and I, together with the Shinobi, will exploit the ensuing chaos to infiltrate the Moon Gates and disable the Magitek field generators. 
Yeah, they've been there for a while. Once the barrier is down, we will be free to cross the one river and reach Doma Castle. They do it is at this one? point that we must turn to our Confederate and Kojin allies. They will commence to bombard the castle with cannon fire while sailing west towards the Doman Enclave. Wait, the Enclave? Why would you want them to sail away from the castle? Because it's a trap? Because the Enclave is home to countless civilians. Once pressed, the Imperials may well think to take them hostage, and I would fain forestall any such attempt. Yeah, that's right there, Alma. After we have secured the Enclave, we may lay siege to Doma Castle directly. The main strength of the Doman Liberation Front, under Lord Hien's command, shall be committed to this endeavor, as will you and your redoubtable allies. Let me at him. The rest is simple. We scour the castle for the Viceroy, we find her, and we subdue her. Without their leader, what remains of the Imperial's morale will crumble. And they will surrender or attempt to flee. And Doma will be free. Now I hope that it all goes according to plan. Any objections, Lord Hien? Your thoughts, Lord Hien? If any points were unclear or gave you cause for concern, I should be glad to go over them with you. Nay, tis a fine plan. You have a talent for this. That much is plain. Well, he did orchestrate victory over the Guardian Empire over at Castro Meridianum. We shall carry out Alphano's plan to the letter. Time is of the essence, as you know, so let us each see to our respective preparations. Carry on. Quest accepted. Oh, I got the feeling we're going to a cutscene where... Oh, no, we're not. I was thinking, are we going to get to see the... Guardians preparing for our arrival? Well, Le Lord Hien, let's speak with you. There is no shortage of tasks which needs to be completed before we can launch our attack. If you have a moment, perhaps you can lend a hand? That said, I've only just returned. It would be better for you to speak with Alphino to find out just how she might be of service. Alright. Alphino, it's been a while. Trying to keep busy, for glad am I to hear it. There's this one task which comes to mind. As I explained during my briefing, Alice and I will need to infiltrate the moon gates to disable the Magitech field generators. Though I pride myself on my knowledge of various subjects, I must confess I lack confidence in my knowledge of this particular one, which is why I turned to an expert. Did you bring Sid? Yeah, I was wondering, like, did you bring Sid all the way here? I have been conversing with Sid via Tatru, attempting to ascertain the design of the generators based on a limited intelligence. Most recently, he sent a parcel with some documents which he, may be, which he believes may be of use. I would like for you to go to Kugane and bring them back here. In the meantime, I will continue to work with our shinobi allies to plot a path into the gates. Safe travels, Corinne, and thank you again. Kugane it is, then. Okay. And the quest is going to end in Kugane. And I wonder how many we're going to have to do in order to actually get access to the dungeon itself. Yeah, pretty much. But the thing is you that you can like download a copy of a Realm Reborn and then when you um, want to get the expansions, like with the physical copy of Stormblood that I have, they also give you um it also comes with the Heavensward expansion, so you'll get both on the same disc. So hopefully that gives you an idea of what my experience is with it. 
Okay, I need to... Well, actually, I know where to go. Not like I haven't been here before. We want to go to the Ruby Bazaar. But yeah, lots of people still swarming around Kugane. So let's go ahead and speak with the aide to earn passage to the other room. Hey there, Tatsu. How have you and Hancock been getting along? <laughs> so much so that you got some new duds, a new kimono for yourself. Quinn, what are you doing here? I thought you were fighting off nomads on the Azim Steppe. We were. Oh, you beat them? Good show! A shame I didn't get to see it. Alphanon has been keeping me apprised of the situation in Doma. I may not be any good in a physical fight, but in a paperwork fight, I'm the true con. Yeah! <laughs> Indeed you are. So another 224,000 experience points. Alright, let's go ahead and get Tataru's level 67 challenge entitled, How Tataru Got Her Groove Back. How Tataru has grown rather accustomed to her life in Kugane. Well, based on the duds, that's obvious. You're here for the parcel, Sid sent, right? Wait a moment and I'll be right out! <laughs> like, why is Hancock so shocked? Why is Hancock so, so shocked? Blah, blah, blah. It arrived not long ago. A porter delivered it to our offices along with various other knickknacks from Eorzea. Sid regrets that he couldn't come here in person. Apparently his hunt for the dragon and Omega demands his full attention, you see. Still, he was reasonably confident that the documents he provided would be enough for Alphano to do the work himself. So as soon as that parcel gets here, we can open it up and see what's inside. Pardon the interruption, but the parcel in question was it the one you placed on the shelf in the back for safekeeping? I believe so, yes. Why do you ask? When you see on closer inspection, said parcel appears to have been addressed to the Saki Sugumi barracks. What? Though it does indeed bulge with a quantity of paper reminiscent of a rather large instruction manual, the lingering sense of lilac leads me to conclude it is a rather sizable collection of love letters. What? Impossible! That poster was carrying a parcel addressed to us! I saw the writing with my own eyes! Well, I do not doubt that in the least. However, as he was tasked with a number of deliveries, I can only presume that he handed your another, you another parcel by mistake. This is a disaster! We have to find that portal right this instant! My, she can move quickly when she has a mind to do so. So quickly she neglected to take these love letters with her. They too must be redirected to their rightful recipients. Yeah, that's all. Yeah, you're gonna give them to me? They should also aid you in tracking down the right porter. They keep records of their deliveries and so forth, after all. The man in question was a middling height and build, not unlike myself. Black hair, short, terribly helpful in Kugane, I know. A cheery sort, wearing bright colors as I recall. I will send a few of my men out to search, but in the meantime, why don't you take the parcel and see if you can't track him down yourself? I will wait here on the off chance he realizes his mistake and returns. Alright. We can do that. Yeah, really? Yeah, that's not exactly what we wanted to see. Alright. Search for the overworked porter who's gonna be around here in Rakuza. Might as well use Rakuza as our first point of contact. Where is our advance? Here we are. And of course, I want to make sure I cover every street, but thankfully, I don't have to go all that far. Here's our porter. 
A good morning to you, miss, but I have no time to chat. I have to head to the Wokairo. Or was it the hostelry? Oh, no time, no time! Well, I have something for you. Hi, I recognize that parcel. I delivered it to the Ruby Bazaar not long ago. What of it? It belonged to someone else. A mistake? For the Sekisugumi, you say? Oh, you're right, how stupid of me. Fortunately, I've yet to visit the barracks. This is for you, yes? I'll take the other in exchange. And then back to Tataru. Back at the bazaar? Absolutely. And so let's warp back. And back inside the Eastern Order Aldenar building. But yeah, I wonder how long it's gonna take us to actually unlock Doma Castle. I'm sorry I couldn't find him. I guess we just have to hope he realizes this mistake and return soon. Well, Worry no longer. That's it! That's the parcel! You found him! Though, knowing our luck, Sid put the wrong papers in here. How would you know? Nope, this is it! These are the documents detailing the operation of the Magitech field generator as Alphano requested. I can only imagine what would have happened had we sent Corinne back to Doma with a parcel full of love letters. The look on Alphanode's face when he reads the first page. <laughs> on second thought, I'm a little disappointed we didn't. Everyone's working so hard to fight for Doma's freedom, and here I am making the same silly mistakes. It won't happen again, Corinne, and I'll keep working hard to bring you and the others useful information. If we hear anything new, we'll contact you straight away. Oh, and you may be pleased to hear that we have broken an agreement between the company and the Confederacy. They require armaments we provide, discreetly, and at a reasonable price. I'm sure Lord Lorito, Lord Lorito was pleased to hear it. You are too old buddy-buddy now? Indeed he was! Indeed he was! Well, it seems our time together is at an end. Give off note and Alice say my regards, will you? Alright. Back to the House of the Fierce. Back to the House of the Fierce. And let's see if we can get any success with this content. Okay, so, run over to Alpha Node to give him the manual. There we are. Oh, it seems like just yesterday you were here. Our plans proceed apace. Do you have the documents? I do, yes. Excellent. This looks to be exactly what we need. Assuming our shinobi escort can see us safely inside the moon gates, I should have no trouble deactivating the barrier. Good, good, that is one less thing to worry about. And so, another 224,000 experience points. And now we have side quests around the House of the Fierce. So, yeah, since it seems like we're getting no further in terms of main story, I think we're going to go ahead and call it here. Yeah, because I think we're just going to keep going and going, and we could be going at this for quite some time without any luck. But at least we know that we have now more side quests to do among the moles back over in the Azim Steppe. And now we have side quests to do in and around Doma. So now we have the House of the Fierce's various quests that we can take care of. So yeah, I think we'll have a lot of stuff to do tomorrow. So yeah, I was thinking of... Um, Going to stream probably around 7.30 or so tomorrow night. And we'll continue on from there. And so I hope that you guys will join us at that point. Because, yeah, it looks like we've got a 
lot of work still ahead of us if we want to have access to Liberate, Liberate Doma, because we may now be back on its land, but we're still nowhere near closer to getting the battle we so desperately require. So with that, I'd like to thank everyone for watching tonight's edition of Day 6's um, streaming for Let's Play Final Fantasy XIV Stormblood Live. And I'll look forward to seeing you guys next time for tomorrow night as we continue on in the hopes of liberating Doma. So thank you very much everyone for watching, and until next time everyone, this is Matthew with Novoro Autism, saying take care, and I'll see you soon.